Hi everyone, it's Lynn. It's time for our next color challenge draw. Um, but I wanted to tell you what I've been doing. Da da da. Uh, so my next door neighbor um, unfortunately got sick and had to have some surgery. And they're a super great, awesome neighbor and couple. And so he had the surgery. And when I found out about it, I was like, oh, I gotta make him a quilt. And because I do believe truly believe that, that you get better service and that you are you get to feeling better if you have a quilt in the hospital. But I missed that because his surgery was really quick and he was out the next day. But um, I know he's a big North Carolina fan. So I ordered some North Carolina fabric online because my local quilt stores don't have those here. Um, I don't live North, I like if you want some Georgia fabric, I can find that like that, but not North Carolina um, fabric. So I had to order it and it took a couple days for it to get in. So, but I did want to show you the quilt that I came up with and kind of my thought process on how to get a quilt done fairly quickly and easily and how to use um, kind of a focus fabric that, you know, use the most of that that you can. So the quilt is not done yet because. Um, I've been working on it the last couple of days, but I just started, well, I just got the fabric actually yesterday. So I was just able to start cutting it out yesterday. Um, but I did want to show you this and I'm going to put the overhead on and just kind of give you a really down and dirty quick, Hey, here's what you can do with two yards of fabric and some other fabric. Um, so let me switch this over. So you can see, okay, so this is what I came up with and I remember our, let me explain, I do have um, EQ. So I use EQ to design all my quilts just because it figures out a lot of stuff for you and you're able to manipulate it too. So what I decided to do is I wanted about a 50 to 60 inch quilt. Now when I ordered the North Carolina fabric, I only ordered two yards. So because I only had two yards, I really had to limit myself on what I could do in, with the two yards of fabric. So it took me a little bit to kind of figure out the best way to, to you have the most use of the two yards because it is my focus fabric. It's the one I want to be most highlighted. And then I went with using a solid and a tone on tone. Um, and you can't see it, but this is a white on white print. So it's got a little kind of like flower in it. It was in my stash. I know it's not kind of, but nobody's going to see it. It's, it's going to look fine because it's white on white. Um, so three, three different colors. This is how to make a really quick quilt. And literally I spent two hours cutting it out yesterday and almost, but a lot of it was fiddling with, you know, the EQ program to make sure I had the right amount of fabric and all that kind of stuff too. So take that into the two hours that I spent yesterday doing that. So what I ended up with is I'm going to do snowball blocks. Now, if you've seen my quilt lit, if you're in the subscription thing in the quilt lit, I go over why I think snowball blocks are so important to be able to do. And quick, quick overview is they allow you to use focus fabric in a way to really highlight that fabric. And because I have this North Carolina and I want that to be the most important thing because he's a North Carolina fan. Um, I want that to be the background of my snowball block. Nine times out of 10, these are white, right? In patterns. So, but I want that to be my background. So that's my focus fabric. Then I'm gonna take a white and I'm gonna put it on the corners of these. And that's what's going to make my snowball. Okay, and you can kind of see that in my pattern. Um, then I also wanted to make sure that I had um, the focus fabric as my border. So I, this ended up being a three and a half inch border that I cut and they're strategic on how you cut it, but suffice it to say this, it, it allowed me to do two and a, three and a half inches. And then this is a nine inch finish snowball. And the reason I chose nine is I wanted a really quick nine patch and I put the center of the nine patch to be the focus fabric. And then this blue, which went with our focus fabric and white. So literally I'm making 13 snowballs and 12 nine patches. These are the nine patches because this nine inch, the reason I chose nine inch 
was because nine patches work with multiples of three. So three, six, nine, easy. That's why, and then the snowball doesn't care how big or small it is. What I want though, is I want that kind of secondary look where this triangle kind of, they all hit that point right there. So that lets that happen. So if you're making this quilt super easy, three, you need two yards of the focus fabric. And I think a yard of this, cause you have a lot of three inch blocks to cut out of this. And then I think it was less than a half a yard for this. Okay. So, and you're going to cut three and a half inch, 108 squares of three white, three and a half inch squares of your focus fabric, which is going to be 12 of those. And then you'll cut 13, nine and a half inch for your background. And then you'll cut also the three and a half inch borders. Okay. Now that'll finish at three. The borders will, these will finish at nine and these will finish at nine. Okay. And then your dark blue, you're going to cut 48 out of your dark blue. So the most cutting is you're going to do is your white. Okay. And that's it. That's not a lot of cutting and it's not a lot of blocks and you're going to get a 52 by 52 inch um, quilt. So that's what I've been working on. I wanted to kind of show you a quick, easy way. And especially, you know, I know Christmas is always coming. <laughs> the day after Christmas, it's coming. <laughs> and as quilters and people who I make most of my presents, I really do. I make most of the presents that my family and friends get. Now, if, um, they don't like made stuff. I'm sad for them because <laughs> I do make my, and I think it's my heart. Like I just, my heart is if I make something for you, I've thought about you, I've prayed for you. Um, I, and that's important to me. So anyway, uh, so hopefully this will really bless him. I will give you pictures of it when it's done. It's really just cut out right now. And it took me, I've still got to cut out the white. Um, but designing it and I wanted to make it quick something I could get to him this week which I should be able to do because I don't think the 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 sewing of this is you know you're sewing a big nine patch and some corners on the on the snowball so anyway I will show it to you when I get it done da, da, da. all right so now let's do our draw of our Crayola um, so last week was tumbleweed, which we loved. I found it to be extremely versatile. This week, let's see. I have no idea. All right, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Da da da. Oh, yellow. We have yellow. I love yellow. Yellow is one of my favorite colors. Let me put this back on. Yellow is one of my favorite. Oh, this is bright yellow. This is lemons and sunshine and summer and oh, yellow. I love yellow. Oh, and this is week 15, I think. 16. Yellow. What a great color. Oh, it's so bright. I'm just looking at it on the screen in front of me. So bright. Wow. I, I, I'm not going to have hard with the time with this one. I think yellow goes with everything. I think I say that every week. Do I say that every week? Yellow or whatever color goes with everything? Yellow. All right. Sunshine. I already said sunshine. Lemons. Lemonade. I just bought these cute little lemon salt and pepper shake. I love salt and pepper shakers. I, I do. I have too many. I have more salt and pepper shakers than I do salt and pepper. Anyway, I just love little cute ones. All right. Lemon. Yellow. Yellow. Okay. All right. Think about yellow and I will talk to you soon. Y'all have a great day. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.